I'm a culinary herbalist and food is medicine chef and I'm here with the sacred science and today we're harvesting rose hips which we're going to turn into an oxymel later today in the sacred kitchen which is a new series that we're doing on the sacred science so join us um, rose hips are an amazing fruit they come from uh, wild roses cultivated roses um, they're extremely nutritious, containing high, high amounts of vitamin C. And this is something that we all need because our bodies don't produce vitamin C naturally. And so especially as we head into the winter months, we want to have um, a great source of vitamin C. And this is the perfect fruit to start us off in the right direction. So when we're harvesting any wild plant, we want to give an offering to say thank you to the plant. And what I mean by that is just a little something. Um, I always carry this in my bag when I go up into the mountains or anywhere um, that I'm harvesting. And, and this is something from my garden. It's corn that I grew and roasted. So um, it's just a way to say thank you to the plant and to start forming that relationship with the plant. Um, these specific plants I've been um, checking on regularly and uh, I harvested wild rose petals earlier this year. So I have an ongoing kind of relationship with them. Um, if you don't have like a physical object to leave, you can just say thank you from your heart and that's a great way to do it. And Please, please always make sure that you're harvesting ethically when you're harvesting any wild plant, including rose hips. Um, you don't want to take all the rose hips in the area. You want to leave some for the animals and leave some so that the seed can go on and create more roses. Um, if it is an endangered plant, you definitely don't want to harvest it. And we'll never talk about any plants that are endangered. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, Rose hips are not just high in vitamin C, but they're also high in bioflavonoids, which is um, a compound that helps to relieve stress on the heart. It is, helps to strengthen the blood vessels, and um, it's found in some of the other plants that are in this family, like hawthorn berries, um, strawberries, and plums, apricots, um, almonds even are in the same family. So when we're harvesting, we want to take our plant and we want to just pull the rose hip off. It should pop off, especially if it's already frozen once, which is great because then it's going to be a little bit of a sweeter fruit also. And then you're going to want to remove the end blossom which is that long tail on the end and pop it into your basket. Now we're making an oxymel today, which is a combination of apple cider vinegar, which is amazing for gut health. Also, um, you might've seen drinking vinegars around lately, shrubs, things like that. Um, apple cider vinegar is great for your whole body. And we're going to combine that with local honey and the rose hips, fresh rose hips. So you're going to remove the end blossom and put it carefully in a basket to preserve them until you're making your oxymel. You don't really want to leave them out because as they dry, they tend to lose more vitamin C. Um, you can also make a tea out of them. You can also get the benefit of their anti-inflammatory properties and um, their properties in which they actually help to relieve arthritis through teas, through jams, through tincture, um, which is an alcohol mixture with the rose hips. You can use uh, the oxymel as we'll share later for all of those things too. So there's just numerous benefits that you can yield from rose hips. Um, now we're going to go to the sacred kitchen and you want to make sure you collect at least one to two cups for your oxymel 
so that you have a great supply for the whole winter. And um, we're gonna head there now. So follow along with us.